Hey guys, if you've watched any of our videos, we've talked about uh, what it takes to find the right contract or what kind of products you want to use, what your different options are out there, what it looks like to do it yourself versus have a professional contractor do it. So today we're actually going to get down and look at concrete a little bit. We're going to talk about a few of the tools that uh, it takes in order to do the job right, in order to get the prep done right so that your concrete coating adheres the way that you want it to adhere. Hey guys, I'm Steve McNary with the Home Solutions Channel. We're gonna to talk today about concrete coating and what you need to do to properly prepare the concrete uh, before you would put a good concrete coating on it, whether you're gonna be doing it yourself or whether a contractor is gonna come in and do it for you. You wanna make sure these steps are followed. Um, really what we wanna talk about is how do you go from this to this, right? Most of us want to do a project like this because we've got uh, an outdoor service, a patio or our garage inside or a pool deck and we want to beautify it and we want it to last, be a great space for entertaining and for our family and for our friends. So how do you get from this to this? Well, preparation is key about that. We talked about that quite a bit uh, here on the Home Solutions channel. So I brought some of the tools with me today that we're going to use. The first thing we're going to look at is what's called a moisture meter. This one's made by a company called Tremex. And we need to find out what kind of moisture content is in the concrete, especially with polyureas and polyaspartics, they end up bonding to the concrete. And if the moisture content isn't right, uh, it's not gonna bond and adhere properly. So think about the way that concrete is made. Water's mixed in with the concrete in the aggregate. For years, that moisture is trying to get its way out of that concrete. Uh, and if there's still too much moisture left in there, a, a polyurea and a polyspartic aren't going to adhere to it. So we always make sure we test that first. And so you can see on the meter here as I push it down, we're at 3.4%. As long as we're under 5.5%, that's a go for us as far as a, being a professional concrete coating installer. Uh, if it's over that, there are some products we can use. There's a moisture barrier that we can put down and it will stop uh, the moisture from seeping up and it'll allow the, the coating to properly adhere to the surface of the concrete. There have been times where we can't coat the concrete because it's just too moist. There's too much moisture left in that concrete. And that's not a great conversation to have with the homeowner, but we always like to do the right thing and let them know, hey, it's not gonna last in the long term for you. Uh, and it's best if we don't do this project for you. So that's the first test that we always have to run. We have to see what the moisture level is of the concrete. Um, there are ways around it, as I said, but you always do need to make sure what that is. And then the next one is called the Mohs hardness test. And what we do here is we, we get out the picks and we'll scratch the concrete to figure out the, the hardness of the concrete. Uh, in San Antonio, we tend to have really soft concrete. So you can see that I actually scratched that pretty easily with a number three. And this is really important uh, because the softer the concrete, the different type of diamonds that we have to use. So our crews are all equipped with multiple sets of diamonds, uh, five or six different sets of diamonds. These are about $1,000 a set uh, that fit onto our big 600 pound grinder. And depending on the hardness level of your concrete depends on what color diamonds that we're gonna use. So for this one, we would scratch in a few more areas depending on what the overall hardness of the concrete was. We would use the red diamonds or the gold diamonds. And what that does is allows us to properly profile the concrete, open up the pores, and it lets the base coat really adhere the way that it needs to adhere. So other than the moisture meter, uh, the hardness test and the diamonds, one other thing that we'll do when we're out of your home is we will check the temperature of the concrete. We can find out what the air temperature is, um, but we also have a laser gun that checks the temperature of the concrete because with our products, we can have uh, different mixes, which allow different cure times, whether it's extreme heat, summer, or winter. And that allows our installers to have the proper amount of working time and pot time for the product to make sure that they can spread it properly and evenly across your uh, concrete surface. Uh, and then it'll cure in the time that it's supposed to. So we gotta make sure the guys are using the right product for the right temperature that day. So those are just a few of the tests. You'll see these tools that our guys will use when our design consultants come out, they'll uh, check the moisture content, that can change. Um, so we also do that on the day of installation, but they'll also do a scratch test and see how hard that concrete is so that we make sure we're prepared uh, and do the job properly so that it's going to last and we can warranty that for you and you're going to enjoy it for years to come. So thanks for joining me on the Home Solutions channel today. Uh, again, just wanted to show you some of the tools that we use when we come out and do the process out uh, at your house when we go and transfer, transform your garage floor or your pool deck or your patio from 
ugly concrete to beautiful concrete. Yeah, if you're gonna do it yourself, try and get your hands on some of these tools if you can. Otherwise, you're gonna end up redoing the job. But otherwise, give us a call and we'll take care of you. We're here at the Home Solutions channel. If you want more home solutions, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. You can also leave a comment below if you have any other questions. We'd love to hear from you.